Hi, welcome to NetEase tutorial and today we will configure NetEase WF2419 device in routing mode. If we are using WF2411 device, so we can follow the same configuration procedure. This is hardware device 300 Mbps with 4 LAN port and 1 WAN port. This is power socket, this is reset button, this is WPS button. So desktop or laptop will be connected to this LAN port and modem will be connected to WAN port and power adapter will be connected to power port and reset button uh, we can use this button if we forget the IP address of this wireless router and we unable to do any settings so that time we will press this button till uh, 5 seconds to uh, put all the settings in factory default and this is WPS button and uh, if we are not using any WPS enabled device in our network so we should not press this button so this is the connectivity so first of all we will change the IP address of this NetEase router because uh, most of the modems are using same IP address 192.168.1.1 series okay so this NetEase router also having the same IP address 192.168.1.1 so first of all we will change the IP address of this router so we will connect laptop to LAN and this is power socket we will connect to power socket so we will not connect this modem so we will keep disconnected this van port and after switching on this device we will check the LED status here are some front side LEDs okay so we will check the LED these are the LED this is uh, sys LED flashing means ok this is LAN LED if it's on that's oh, then ok if uh, this LAN LED is not coming so we will just check this Ethernet cable and we will try to put another port ok so to change the IP address we will open browser and we will type IP address 192.168.1.1 enter advance click on network LAN here the IP address 192.168.1.1 we will change third octet 192.168.5.1 okay save and reboot okay so this router will be restart So after restarting this uh, router, this page will open automatically with 192.168.5.1. So IP address has been changed. Now again check network LAN. Yeah, it's already have been changed. Now we will do some WAN settings. Okay. And first of all, we will connect modem now. Okay. After changing the IP address, we will connect the modem to WAN port and we will check the WAN LED ok after connecting this WAN port this WAN LED will be on if it's not on we can check this Ethernet cable on we will just make sure this modem is working properly ok sys flashing LAN or WAN will on So now we will do some WAN configurations. Open browser, click on network WAN, and here the WAN connection type. So first of all, uh, we must know about the, about the WAN connection type. If we have some username and password, so we will use this PPP OE connection and we will type username and password here 
and we will click on connect automatic and click save if uh, our internet service provider given some static IP address so we will put all the IP addresses here one, one IP subnet mask gateway primary DNS secondary DNS and we will click on save okay if uh, we are using modem with the DSCP okay if uh, we are using internet from the modem with DSCP mode so we will click on DSCP so here I am using DSCP modem so I will click on DSCP and save so after saving this uh, configurations we will come on status click on connect okay so after connecting this device here some IP address will be display if if there is no any IP address is coming so just again check the when connections okay and type your credential correctly okay whatever you you received from your internet service provider okay. so I am getting this IP address that means my modem is working fine and my router is also working fine so once we will get the IP address here so our internet will start to work okay so now we can connect internet through cable but now we will do some settings in wireless click on wireless wireless setting this is wireless status should be enabled MAC address this radio mode access point radio mode band will be 802.11 BGN and SSID we can change the name home okay SSID home and uh, SSID broadcast should be enabled and channel auto and we will make secure this router okay we will put the wireless security so WPA WPA2 PSK is correct security method and this is uh, by default password is password W W uh, sorry PA double S W R D but strongly I will recommend to change the password so we will change it one two three four five six seven eight we can change it any character 8 to 63 characters we can put here okay between 8 to 63 click on save saved successfully now we can connect refresh your internet home okay this SSID is showing this is our router SSID we will double click we will type security password one two three four five six seven eight this one click on one two three four five six seven eight okay connecting to home it's connected you can see here okay so now disconnect cable so we can access internet through Wi-Fi It's working now. Uh, for more more configuration steps, you can go this website www.natis-systems.com and click on support. 
FAQ and select your product. This is Natis NATS-systems.com support FAQ. We will select product wireless model number. My wireless model number is 2419. Click on submit. So here are some configuration steps. So according to your requirement, you can check configuration steps here. Okay. If still you have any issues in your router, so you can just write to us. This is the email address India underscore support at the rest netis hyphen systems dot com. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching.